Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video it is finally my 30,000 subscriber video. God this car is going fast, it's going to make this intro very loud. This is the Corsa that I got in exchange of money and Jeff when I sold Jeff. Uh, it's very bad condition and I asked you guys what you want me to do to it and a lot of you people said drop the roof off and the main reason I'm going to do that is because it's going to the scrapyard because it's that bad. I'm going to get Chris to quickly walk around the car and show you how bad the damage is because there is damage, dint, scratches, rust everywhere on this car and people yeah. are trying to tell me to save it but the interior is ruined. I mean, look at the floor, what is that? that? What is that on the floor? I've just been sat The there. seat, oh god. People try to tell me to save it, it's not worth saving. Guess guesses in the comments what that is. I don't want to know what that is. It smells because it was a smoker's car. I detest smoking cars for many reasons. Look at the rust. Just, just oh yeah. yeah. Oh, don't do that to my immaculate bodywork. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's also this. Oh no, I don't even open work. it. I don't open it. Oh, sorry, I forgot about that. Oh yeah, there is that thing too. <laughs> then, yeah, there's... Oh. And then when you find it, you get around rust. Oh, rust. When you get to the bonnet, with a very happy engine. Oh, God, it sounds so good. I swear you're going to cut your fingers every time you open it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. This is a 2008. Why is it so rusty? I don't think it's lived in the sea. Oh, nice. It's not even any effort to do that. No, it's not. Oh, dude. Oh, what are you doing? Typical. Typical. Early. <laughs> I have a video on that if you if you want to see it. There's a there's a video on that. Right. Anyway, let's get it inside and let's um, mess around. My uh, nephew has given me some bits of exhaust and stuff and some tinty spray and we have angle grinders and we're just gonna have a bit of fun. Look at crack on. You can't get out the car. Put in the freaking handle. I can't get out the bloody car. Can you just reach your arm outside and do that? Yes, but that's just not logical. It would make so much more sense if we had no roof. Oh, well, and you could just climb out. Well, let's crack on. Let's crack the roof on. Okay. So we're trying to think of like a logical way to do this without setting fire to the car or us, or ending up with glass everywhere. So we're literally just going to rip all the trim panels off because it doesn't really matter. Uh, see if we can take this window out. If I not, eh? It's, uh, it's molded in. So it's going to come out when we cut the roof off then. So the plan will be to uh, cut along here, keep a little bit of material just to hold the windscreen in all the way along there. Chop it straight through there, chop it straight through there, and then across here to the boot, probably up to, if I draw it in the dust, something across there, something like that, and then the same again on the other side, so we're going to literally just chop to the bottom of the window, across there, and then like I said before, just, I like that it's dusty, because I can draw a cut line. <laughs> Oh, and those that are not aware yet, look, we have another car. This is my 3-litre V6 Camry. Um, and this is going to donate its heart to my MR2. So then I'm going to have a 3-litre V6 MR2. But that's coming soon. Uh, first off, we, we, we're doing this. Um, did you manage to actually get... We're not, we're not there yet. I'm just getting it ready. I'm, we're looking, we're so excited. I want to pull our headlining down so we don't set it on fire. So I'm gonna, okay, Chris is gonna do it. Here it goes, here it goes. Just avoiding fire would be a good thing. I'm gonna, yeah. plug, I'm gonna plug the hose in just in case. Just rag it, dude. We didn't get the boot open. Yeah, boot's open. Go on, get it some force. What about that? Did you just break your head? I think I got that on camera. <laughs> Did you just lift it up and expect it to stay up and drop no, it on your head? Did that hurt? A bit. Yeah. Like you oh yeah, but that looked like it was worse. <laughs> <laughs> it will. I'm, I'm hoping it was on video. I'm gonna like free, freeze frame it at the end of something. I'm sure you'll hear it. Oh, I definitely heard it. Hundred percent. Right. Let's get cracked on and yeah. So the headline has been ripped out to uh, say fires, but uh, who knew that a basic spec Corsa had uh, massive long curtain side airbags? I did not know that. So uh, disconnecting the battery, which is an obvious thing to do anyway. Uh, and then we're gonna just unbolt them for now because 
well, it's, it has a little mini bomb inside them. So Chris is battling hot night and day with a battery. There we go. We literally ragged it out and snapped the handles off. So we're, we're doing well. We have what's, what's the tin snip from the roof for? You're planning on just cutting the roof off with the tin snips? No, I'll cut into everyone. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> right, fair dues. <clears throat> so yeah, that's that. Uh, once them airbag things out, that's it then, isn't it? It's a case of cutting. Cutty, cutty. Yeah. How do you climb on a course? I don't know. It's very slow. Don't think walking up the windscreen is a good idea. Yes, maybe. You're just trying to get a high angle. <laughs> that is a very thin roof. That is a very thin roof. I've never stood on the roof of a car. I've definitely didn't on the roof. I've never stood on the roof of a car. It's weird. Oh yeah, helpful. Oh, I, don't, I can probably prop. Yeah. Film me. Show the people. Show the people. What are you having fun up there? <laughs> but it looks at them stains. It's probably not first time this car's done that. What about your bonnet? I'm surprised it popped back to the car after you walked up it. Was it so rusty? Like that might pop back. This might pop back. See? Courses, everyone, you could just stand on the roof and it just pop back. Don't do that. Dare do that. And if I drive down the street and see all sorts of courses with dints in roof, I know it's you. Back to get back on. Yeah, because we want to enjoy the sun that's supposed to be happening. Yeah, that was relatively easy. It went through it like butter. Now it's time to mount you. Uh, fall over, fall over. Oh, good God. <laughs> now it's time to mount it on the tripod so Chris can start cutting into. Look at the roof. Jump the roof. I'm going to put a light back on as well. You fat gear. I know. Okay. How about that? Not chopping the chopping glass, I'll fit a bit of body back on. 
Nein. So, nein. No, we don't need that in the We'll not break the screen, no. It might have done. Yeah, I've already cut the seatbelt. When, when I cut the seatbelt, it went blum, 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 as if it put it back in. Yeah, I've got the electric. I saw. That's the idea today. Yeah, and uh, I've just started chopping plastics. Yeah. I'll put it on this side, so I'll try to stay away from the bottom. But if that has caught, if you've about your arms, my coat's there. You know what, I'm bothered about my face. I'm not bothered about the arms, I'm not into the pussy. I have a hoodie, it's hot. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you put that now, it's just in case you've decided it. Yeah, and it's still on that side, it's just like. And then all the inside. That's all the old together. Yes. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah, but they have the jaws of life. So Chris has cut through, he thinks, fully on that side. There's still a bit more on the front that side, and obviously we still have the back sides to do. Uh, so I'm going to carry on pulling some more trim off, and then hopefully get to the point where we can get the angle grinder on the inside and cut the sides off. Whilst Chris is still angle grinding the back, and I don't have any safety eye roll, I thought I may as well make use of the tint spray that my nephew gave me. So I'm going to spray a headlight without masking anything off, just because I can. Bloody hard if we can chop a roof off. Wouldn't be hard if we had a big still saw. But we don't. Put it there. Yeah. Oh, we're actually filming. How heavy is it going to be? We're holding it here, that's going to be heavy. All I'll say is I've never chopped a 
shimmy it a bit, then I think I should take the back and use that It looks like a real shot now. Right, we'll put that off. We'll that's the last thing. We'll put anger grinder down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a snorkel. So I'm going to put a hole saw on, cut through it, and then yeah. Well, I don't actually know if the hole saw is a metal saw. So this could be quite interesting. Are you still? We're using tint spray for the grill. All the items used today was donated to us, so you have to use what you have. If you donated us grounds from the garage. Yes. Yeah.
Oh yeah, take, take the muck off because that, that'll help. No, it was a pile of rust. <laughs> It's going to be the worst freighter ever, I don't know. I, I saw, I've seen your old cars. No, I've got decent freighter. Uh, that's just your word against mine. <laughs> it looks horrendous. I feel like we need to set the two wheel, the hook, you know, the wheel trims off so it's got black wheels all around. Because one side's back. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. Oh yeah, you, you're taking this far too seriously with, with, with your painting skills. Just be careful you don't catch your leg on that. I think this painting job is much better than what Chris has ever done. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Did you? Let's just tint that as well. No, he's not saying tint that. Now what are you tinting? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Tint spray is horrendous. <laughs> See, says it now, it's a VXR. Should always protect your open edges of uh, just so they don't rust, you know. Just just so they don't rust. I think it looks legit. Oh, there's that scratch there. Oh yeah, it's gone. That's how you get, oh, rust, rust is gone. It's just tinting rust. That's what we're doing here. We'll have a, an off diver. More rust. What rust, you can't see anything. We'll have a black petrol cap, why not? <laughs> oh, that tickled me more than it should have done. Oh, this is just funny. It's funny. It really is. Are you tinted the little triangle windows? Yeah, haven't you? There's a bit left in that. Is this the one you ran over? Yeah. I like Godzilla's claws. Aww. Just screams fast this car now, doesn't it? Lightweight, fast. Right, other than tinkering, well, the, the, the body work's done. It's just a case of, uh, oh, we have a black mirror as well. Every modified car got some black mirrors on the car to put all oh, right. You want everybody? No, I did checkers. Close enough. Oh, that's on the strip as well. No, I can't. Scrap oil. <laughs> You're such an animal. Look at the roof. I'm going to shatter windows, aren't I, still on this? We need to do racing straps. Oh yeah, we have some more paint. Oh yeah, my nephew donated me some old rib speed seatbelt pads to put in it, but we don't have any seatbelts. <laughs> there's none in the front, there's none in the back. We've cut them all off, because we're all in the way. We did have a pod. Someone ran over it. <laughs> Someone put all the stuff in front of the Camry, so when I want to move the Camry, I ran over it. I mean, look at, I mean, I had an air filter for it, I mean, but uh, 
To be fair, I don't think that'll... It's too heavy for that anyway. <laughs> just, just, just like that. That's funny. That's the scrap pile. Okay, so... You're gonna screw that on just for shits and giggles. You mean you mean in the screwdriver drawer, which is uh, which is uh, which is uh, which is that one? Yeah, See, the only yeah. One I didn't actually try. Yeah. Always the one you don't try. Oh, of course. Right, we shall uh, update you uh, shortly. <laughs> Oh god. Oh good god. Make sure it's like off center, I want like a not an off center. I want like it, you know, a, a scary A10 sort of off. Because you can't go over the VXR. Yeah. Make sure you go all, all the way over the roof and the boot lid. <laughs> Don't go over it. Uh, no, because you will. How would you know? That's not off centre. You ruined it. Freaking ruined it now. Don't get on the windscreen. It's going straight up windscreen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Do you like the snorkel? Do you like the exhaust? Do you like the canards? We have tinted lights, we have bright. flames, we have I printed that so it don't rust, we have tinted lights at the rear. Ah, it's funny. We have more flames. We haven't actually done anything on the inside, but I'm quite yeah. I think keeping keeping the inside stock will keep its value a bit. You know what I mean? Like its resale value. Oh. They don't affect it too much. <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs> actually, that actually came out all right. Yeah. It actually came out all right. He didn't do a bad job there. Oh, no, no, he's making it worse. Just, yeah. just leave it, just leave it. Oh, dude. What's protection? Oh, you're just ruining it now. Stick with your plan. That's better. Oh, it's better ish. Better ish. Better ish, yeah. You know when it rains, it's gonna wash off. And it's also gonna fill up. <laughs> Why have we got a white one? You painted them black. No, 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 no. I don't think that's in the same place as that's in the middle on the back. Just go down back seats. Just put some up back seats, why not? You know, just, just. Uh, yeah, look at that, racing stripes. Go faster, makes the car faster. This is by far the <laughs> stupidest thing we've ever you done. You wanna know, bro? This is the stupidest thing we've ever done. Huh? <laughs> 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 Yes, I know I do, but uh, that will oh, that'll go in bin, so it's oh, not too bad. Anyway. Oh, that's all right. Oh, there's more shit in here. Look, look, you cut the seat with the angle grinder. Good meal. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Get the scrap pile that we've got to put back in the car, and there's a load of scrap actually in Camry that I need to put in that car because you will be going to the scrapyard hopefully this week. And you'll be out of my, my sight and gone forever. Oh, it's so funny. I can't wait to hear it. To be fair, we'll probably not hear its induction over the exhaust. Oh yeah, it has it has a boost gauge as well in a very broken pod because someone ran over it. Chris. Yes, you did, didn't you? You ran over it, Chris. Don't you blame me, bro. Well, you ran over it! Just like you crashed the Zupra. Oh. Are, are we done? Unless you want to go around painting. Like what? Why don't you paint like, you know, the A-team sign or something, you know, just a line down the door and then you're up. We haven't got red. Well, it could have been white, I don't know. 
you got you got to you know, you've got to live and deal with the stuff you have in the bush. You know, there's there's, there's only a certain amount of stuff you can do. Think we've got wide arches. We haven't got wide arches, but we've got wide arches. <laughs> it's a wide arch. Well, you've got to do more now. Yeah, you have to do all four. Because, you know, once we go out... When we go outside, you know, I'll have to do these, you know, like, cinematic shots of, of how good it looks, and I'll have to list every modification. What car are you looking This looks amazing. This is Bluey's Garage, like, special. Uh, you notice it's not a muff diver no more. It's a uff diver. <laughs> it's funny. Funny. Ah, right. We shall come back to you when we drop it to the floor and we're ready to go and unveil it outside. Just... You know I'm just gonna have a I know. Well, I've just done it on purpose because I know what you're gonna like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this one's got shot, did you? Yeah. Oh, no, I do love that you've got in there and we've not jumped it yet. It might start. It was running a bit. <laughs> well, you haven't put battery lead on, so you know, yeah. that, that is such a dick. <laughs> but you put the battery lead on. You can oh. talk to your... Uh, Look at this. I'm trying to remember what Clarkson said. Clarkson. You just broke the intake pipe! No, what I've done is made it so it's easier to lift your bonnet up. You broke the intake pipe. <laughs> Do you tell me shut up? Yeah. Fuck you. You're great, woman. Whatever you're doing, you're making the needles move. It's okay, it's done now. I bet it won't start. Okay, so let's see if it's... You say, I bet it won't start. It might start. It won't start. I was I didn't, you know, I was expecting it either fire or not turn over, but it kind of turned I'm over. I think it's on with these lamp sets apart. Just, it still run with that. No, just... It, it might not have been quick enough. It's on. It was on charge. It's over there. That very bright light. I was just a bit of a ball light last time on it, putting the leads on. Wow. Wonder if we've cut something through somewhere. We shouldn't have cut through anything that's going to affect it. I've always wanted a convertible. Well, it's not really a convertible if you can't convert it, is it? It's just a car with no roof. I mean, we haven't done the best cut job in the world, let's be honest. Uh, oh, we're going, we're going, we're going. Here we go. No. Might be mobilised, hold on. No. What have we cut through that stops it from firing? Not happy. The car that I wanted to just have shits and giggles with, it chose this exact pissing moment for the crankshaft sensor to just knacker. Nothing to do with what we've done. We've not touched any wires or out in the engine bay. I've had to nip home and get a code reader and it's coming up with P035, uh, 335, if it's still on the screen. <laughs> Which, uh, it will allow us to crank and we can crank all day long until the battery goes flat, but it refuses to fire because it needs that to tell it where the position is so it can send fuel and start. So now I can't even hear it start up because I refuse to, I refuse to buy a crank sensor for a car that's going to scrap yard. So me and Chris are going to push it outside and we're going to take some nice scenic pictures just there because I can't go any further. Can't drive it, can't do anything. I'm, I'm actually gutted. I'm actually gutted. We don't have to push it. What do you mean, don't have to push it out? No, we're not driving it out on the start motor. No. We'll just push it out. It's not a heavy car. We'll just took a roof off. <laughs> I like it. It was quite light. I would, I would admit. So yeah, there's yeah. So it's like ta-da, and then kick you in the face. Anyway, we'll get it back on the floor. Get it pushed outside. And We'll go from there. So a bit of a sad moment now. I think Frank tends to do. Like, this is like Blue Garage version of pimp the shit out of my ride with no money and zero budget and donations. No, it's pimp my shit ride. And a rusty <laughs> car. So here we have this 2008 Corsa VX RRR turbo <laughs> with no turbo. You can 
see it as it says custom. turbo on the side, it's got a turbo. It's got custom racing stripes that are not uniform, they're custom. Now, tinted number plates, tinted lights, tinted grille, tinted port windows, tinted doors, tinted everything. We've got this snorkel, this allows you to drive up to three foot of water, any deeper than that, and it comes through over the door, so you don't want to go any deeper than that. Moving along, we have whatever we've left on top of there, I don't even know what it is. Plastic, that, that's so on the battery cover. We can see that we have no roof. It is now a pickup slash ute. It is like the Corsa ute. That's what it is. Corsa ute. It's a Corsa ute. Corsa ute. Blue skip. <laughs> if you look inside, you will see that there's a custom white dashboard binnacle bit, apparently, because that's what Chris decided to do with the tape. I have more paint. And we had a custom <laughs> racing stripe on one bent seat, as you can see there. And this is a lovely jagged edge. Perfect for slicing off any fingers, hands, arms, or anything. We have two wheel trims, and we have custom tinted flames. And you can see it says VXRRRR. It's like a dog when you do that. Then moving around to the rear, you can see that it is driven by the classy person that is the up diver. And we have the tinted number plate and the racing stripes to match the pickup esque. So as you can see, it has a big boot, and if you drop the seat, it is definitely a coarser route. As you can now see, it becomes a pickup. Skip. Pickup. It's not a skip, it's a pickup. The skips have an open like that. This, right? <laughs> need to try and sell this, right? You can see we have tinted rear lights coming around. We have turbo emblazoned down the side and more flames. And we, we didn't have enough money in the budget to get wide arch kit for this. So we went for the white arch kit. So we have white arches all around, giving it that extra stylish look. Really right around, we have tinted more freaking stuff, wherever that is, we have a white mirror, because we don't like to be matching. We don't like to be, you know, we're cool. We're cool in this car. And then we've gone with a full jap style of the side exhaust that uh, is pretty much wider than anything else on the car. And then last but not least, we have some proper Alibaba style freaking canards that are on the wrong way around. And that brings us back round to the freaking huge letter box then. It allows all that extra air that we don't really need because there's a snorkel on it. And that is the shitbox corsa. I like the shitbox corsa. I think it's funny. I think it's on the front as well. It's a bit better if it... It wasn't very imaginative yeah. really, was it? It's a bit better if it worked. Oh uh, yeah, obviously as you've just... I've, I can't start it up because Crank Sensor has chosen that moment to die. It drove this morning because I moved it in the, in the thing, didn't I? Because I jumped it and it moved. Hey, Crank Sensor. Well then when I get some nice little picture I see in the bits and we'll... Yeah, we'll... It's a shame oh, PVS so has already gone, hasn't it? Should have oh, took it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get to any shows this year. <laughs> I mean, reckon the crank sensor tech is right out of budget. I don't even know how much one is. About 13 quid. You <laughs> ain't got that left. You ain't got that left, man. But, uh, yeah, I think it's now time to get some lovely photos. Well, at least I left. I don't think we have 13 quid to start with. <laughs> this is our creation. The course of route. I think if we get to 50k and do a 50k video, we might actually have a car that runs at the end of it. <laughs> I'm so good at it, don't run. Right. What we'll do is at 50k, we'll do a Patreon build. Okay. I broke the seat. That's something else we've broke oh, today. Yes. I forgot to point out already that this course route has its own lake which you might have seen, but now it's access to all this beautiful sky. It has its own lake, and you can actually see it quite well. Oh, the uh, orange lake in the tire. Yeah. Just gently step out right there. Love it. Okay, now I'm gonna grab some photos and then do a bit of a cinematic bit. I fell in, oh, everything's sharp, I don't like that. <laughs> Ooh, that hurt my hand. Sorry, am I supposed to still be pushing? I am actually pushing just with one hand because I am filming. Oh yeah, you sit there and look pretty. It really look pretty. You watch the exhaust on the wall. Oh no! You did do a very good job with that exhaust. Oh, 
dear me. Oh, it's horrendous. How often can you say you crashed into your own roof? Well, there is that. How often can you say your exhaust fell off? I literally just kicked the exhaust outside. Ah, that's funny. Right, I think we need to wrap up this video. Because then we can wrap up in here and get gone. People now know the exhaust fake. The, the exhaust isn't fake. It is a well, piece of exhaust. Off. It's fell off now, yeah. You didn't do a very good job attaching it, did you, Chris? It was only supposed to be a temporary attachment. Yeah. And obviously there's a lot of weight hanging out of the bumper and obviously it's come off. No, Chris, you'd have to put it back. Oh, okay, you've wedged it for now, that's fine. <clears throat> but uh, I'm so annoyed we can't start it. Right, anyway. I sit on the car. Oh, you're gonna sit there. You've been in a lot of videos. Will you? Oh, just don't break the windscreen. I'm not gonna break the windscreen. Break everything else. Yeah, yeah, fat ass. Right, I wanted to like clear up this video uh, and end it because I want to say thank you to everyone that's actually been watching for freaking the millions of years I've been making videos. Never really hit it off, just had fun making videos and we finally hit 30,000 subscribers. So I really appreciate it and that's why we had a bit of fun making this car and I'm so gutted that it don't fire up. Um, but I've enjoyed it, I hope you've enjoyed just watching us wreck a car and uh, it will be going to the scrapyard at some point this week. Um, I have a lot of scrap metal to put in it and the roof to just chuck back on it and all the stuff that we chucked out. So it will very quickly look like a mess again. Um, and but, then, you still? Well, it's going to look like an actual skip like you said it was. But uh, yeah, I, I appreciate everyone watching and liking and if you've enjoyed this video, wicked. It was only for a bit of fun. Don't start commenting saying, oh, it was a waste of a car and all that bull crap. Because I don't care. The car cost me nothing. The mods have cost me nothing. It was ready for the scrapyard anyway. It, it really was ready for the scrapyard. It's too expensive to fix him out with stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, either way. Is either way. Buy it, buy it and fix it. Yeah. You can, you, I'll raffle it off. I'll do one of them car raffles where there's like, you know, you can have, you, everyone can enter for like 99p, but there's 3 million tickets. Yeah. It's <laughs> just four years to get tickets. <laughs> yeah. So, that's it. That is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for 30,000 subscribers. Here's to 30,000 more, you yeah. know. Who knows? Hopefully not. Could be another nine years. Who knows? But cool. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Might get ten views for this video. We've had six, and I was the uh, seventh because I was watching you grind at one point uh, and talking to the camera. But I've no idea if they can hear because there's lots of grinding noise going off. But uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the patrons as well for all your support as always, and you'll see them very shortly at the end of the video. Now we're gonna go and um, quickly tidy up and then go and chill because. This is still longer than I thought. Cool, right, thank you. And that is what a uh, shipbox course looks like once you put everything back inside it, as well as an engine for a Golf, carpets and bit, bits of an interior for a uh, Volvo. A million pairs of gloves that he's about to do again. I don't know what else we'll put in there. Obviously, Coke that, cans. Is there Coke cans in there? Yeah, well, it's got all pets in Yeah, so now it's Mr. Scrapman to come and take it. Oh, there's like freaking 12 or 14 struts in there. Yeah, yeah that's... It was from the Supra. Look, look at back end up, how low it is. There's a full set of struts from a Supra and a full set of struts from a freaking MR2 in there. And some coilovers from an MR2 that are knackered like. Yeah! Bye. A spoiler from MR2. Oh, there isn't a spoiler for the MR2 in there. Oh, yeah. But off to the scrapyard when I find a scrap man to take you. So, goodbye. Say goodbye to the Corsa. And then say hello to the Camry because the Camry is coming. Camry is coming.